just use, you could use G, G uh, Ionian, D Dorian, B Phrygian, C Lydian, D Mixolydian, E Aeolian, or F Sharp Locrian. Any of those modes that we already talked about in G major would work just fine over the top of that. Okay? Now it may sound a little strange if your chord progression is going like this. But you, to play those major modes, but you could definitely do that. Use any of those modes uh, from G major over that E minor chord progression. Okay? I wanted to give you some practicing tips on practicing your modes. What you want to do is, you know, obviously you just want to play through the scales. So want to give it multiple notes per string. So for example, you could go I'm kind of anchoring my right hand on this pickup with my pinky finger. I'm kind of holding on to that as I go up and down the neck. Now you can all, okay, that was two notes per string, so I was dividing, if I have in common time, I'm dividing the beat into two parts, one and two and three and four and four and, four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and etc. You can also, um, Divide the beat into four equal parts. So it'd be one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E. Notice I was dividing the beat into four parts and I was accenting the first beat. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... You can also practice on um, your dynamics. So instead of just playing... You're going to make it... So make the first one forte, and the other one's piano, or just loud and soft if you don't speak Italian. And you can also divide the beat into three equal parts. So instead of one E and a, how about one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm dividing the beat into triplets. And of course you want to use your metronome with these and make sure you keep it a nice steady pace and then up the beats per minute as you gradually get faster so <clears throat> let's say that was maybe at a hundred and well I don't know let me look at my metronome here let me bump it to uh, dum bum 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 so that was about at 92 beats per minute let's see Next day, you might want to bump it up to say maybe a hundred and bum 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 bum. You get the idea. You basically want to increase the metronome speed each day and get faster and faster, etc. Okay, so those are just a few practicing tips for your major scale. Uh, up and down the fretboard, and you also want to transfer that to different keys. I did all of that in G major, but you also want to play it in A flat, and A, and B flat, B, C, etc. Okay? Okay, 
Now we're to the section of the course where we're going to study licks. These are going to be small little nuggets of uh, musical information you're going to stick up in your brain and you're going to be able to whip these licks out at any point that you want during any of your solos. Now I should note that you do not have to learn all 50 of these. You can learn the ones that you like okay, and just ignore the other ones. And you also don't have to go in order. You can learn them in any order you want, but I will tell you that they do sort of get more difficult as you move on from lick one to lick 50. For example, lick one is just a simple bend. Okay, and then lick two, I can't remember it off the top of my head, but it, it adds a note like this. Lick three may add two notes. Lick four may add this. So as you move on, they get more complicated. But you don't have to learn all 50 of them. Other, the other thing I wanted to mention is that you can learn them and um, transpose them into any key. Okay, Obviously, I had to write them in a key so you would know. I mean, when I, when I wrote down the note, I had to put it in some type of key. So you know, a lot of them are in A minor, pentatonic, B minor, pentatonic, E minor, pentatonic, etc. Most of these are in pentatonic scale. In fact, the vast majority of them use pentatonic because pentatonic is so popular. That's why I wanted to give them to you in the pentatonic. So you can use these and transpose them in any key. So, for example, if you have this lick, that's A minor pentatonic. You could just as easily move that down a half a step and be in A flat. Okay, move it down another half step, you're in G. Okay, so that's where you transpose those. So just keep that in mind, they can go into any key, and you can learn any of, or any of them or all of them, it's your choice. Uh, just make sure you go slowly and learn them at your own pace, and don't try to, you know, uh, play faster than you can. Make sure you play on a nice steady beat. Make sure you're counting and you're playing the rhythms right. Watch closely and uh, listen carefully. And then try to play it as best you can. Don't get frustrated. Just do the very best you can. And uh, also, I'm glad, glad I just thought of this. You also want to be able to take these and change them up. So, for example, if you have... That's basically a triplet goes to this. Well, instead of just going to this note, you might want to go to this note. Okay, so take them and, and, and play around with them and make up your own. That's the whole point. These are just to get you started, okay? You're going you're gonna to have hundreds, if not thousands of licks that you're going to be able to play. And a lot of them you're just going to do inadvertently. But uh, these are just 50 to get you started, and so let's get started now.